Good morning guys, coming to you today from the state of Rio de Janeiro here in Brazil. Specifically a town called Perati. We arrived here earlier this morning and it's like, uh, it's like a bay with a lot of boats in the harbor. And we found this excursion on Airbnb to sail us around for I believe six hours. So we just got boarded onto the boat and kind of did a little tour of it. Not much going on on the inside, just a nice sailboat here. This is Bruno, our boat captain. And Erica and, is your and, wife. And. So that's our boat captain. Uh -huh. Yeah, the couple that's going to be taking us out on this excursion today. Most of the adventure is going to take place just sailing around this bay. Well, welcome to Perati. professional sailor now. I am. I know how to pull the thing. Yeah, you're making the rope and everything. Yeah. It's exhausting this job. <laughs> yeah, but it, wow, it's so beautiful out here. It's so nice. And it's super calm. Yeah. Like, no, no, it's just the ocean. No, I love just how there's like mountains out there, there's island over there, Everywhere. and then all we see is just more islands and stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just the noise of the water. All right, we arrived to the first beach we're coming to called Praia Bochardi. And our boat guide has told us that this is a great place for a stand-up paddle. So Pally's going to try it for the very first time. Let's uh, see how this goes. <laughs> nice. Stand up. Yeah, it's called stand-up paddle. Do it. Nice. The other leg, just put the other leg. Oh, nice. There you go. That's what I call stand up battle. Wow, you're a professional now. I am. I just don't know how to turn. Yeah, you don't know how to turn? I'm trying, Wade. So you don't even know where you're going to be going here in a second. Wow, this is a great bay to be out here paddle boarding in, though. Just all those mountains back there and everything. And then we got uh, somebody just with a small flex right there with their nice boat. Do you like it out here? This is paradise. Paradise? Yeah, right over there is the beach, then the dock is right there. I'm gonna get in the water myself here, test it out, see if it's warm, see if it's cold. All right, just one foot there. Let's see. Wow, this water is really refreshing. It's nice and warm, it feels great. Wow, there's our boat right there. This is such a great view from the water. I have the beach is right over there, why not? swim over there to the beach. Valley's over here as well. The water is like really nice, it's warm, but look at this, right? We got all punch. Oh, there's a doggo. You think he's like a protector of the beach here? Oh. Hello. Hello. Is he gonna be mean? He's like, who's this on my beach? Hi. Hi. But yeah, we got that house over there. And then just super nice palm trees all along here like this. This is a nice spot to hang out at. I can see these seashells right here. I mean, this is how clear the water is. My hand's here. under the water. Look at that. So the sailboat is behind me just right over there. And I'm just walking along the beach a little bit more. It's almost like a private secluded beach because I see a home over here. It's not like a huge beach or anything like that. And where I'm going to though is I see a I see a private dock right here. So I think this is a house, a private home, owned home, and then this is all a dock along here. But wow, what a magnificent view for everyone that lives here! Just all these boats, mountains in the background. Whoa, I'm coming across the most perfect seashells. I mean, this is like what I feel like I see in collectibles of those people who. Uh, have jars in their bathrooms with seashells. Here's one. Here's another really nice one right here. Well, yeah, and they're perfect. Like, this is how you see them in photos and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're great. Set me up for success. I'm not going to tell you my truth. No. There you go. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's see. Are you going to film? <laughs> oh, okay. It's natural, we're good at this. First beach down, and just getting back on the boat. And we're gonna go to the second beach, 
now. And there we're planning on doing a cookout. Well, I'm not cooking, they are. But I know we're gonna be cooking, eating, and enjoying some more water. So now we're uh, back out on open water. You know what I love? It's just so peaceful out here and relaxing. Like being on a sailboat. I mean, this is legitimate sailboat, sailboat over here. And it's huge. Yeah, it, it is. Flowed. I love like, right now we're all so tilted. Like, we're to the left. Yeah. Over here's to the right. Just starting from back there and just all around here. I literally can't get over all these views. Just like how good they are. It's amazing. There's like sailboats way out in the distance. We're coming up on more islands out there. It's crazy. And just these clouds up in the sky. Perfect. Well, yeah, like it's a perfect day to be out sailing. It's perfect. I love it. All right, we got anchored to our next stop here. And I believe it's called Praia de Xenio or Praia in Janeiro. I don't know. I'm botching this 100%. But a really nice spot. And we're going to about to get lunch going here. There's another boat harbored out here with us. And here is the bay, the water. I mean, this is just a nice green azul color. What do you think about it? I love it. Yeah. I swear every place gets better. I don't even know how. Being in a tropical place though, I'm actually getting raindrops coming down and hitting my face and my body. But it's sunny out here, but uh... So you tell these places with palm trees are. It seems like if there's even one cloud in the sky, it's gonna be raining. You think those are rain clouds over there? I think so, but I hope not. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what they're whipping up for us down here in the kitchen. I can actually see them down here cooking in like this little porthole, but... I'm gonna go get a better view. Ooh, so I can already see some meat there cooking. Bruno, you're the chef today. So it looks like we got some sausage right there, some like sirloin steak right there, and then I can smell it. Uh, right over there, there's like garlic bread they're cutting up, lime for a salad. I'm gonna have to get under the shade though, because this rain's starting to come down harder, and I don't want to get my camera all wet. It is like impossible to be dodging rain out here, and uh, just. Even where we've been at Ubatuba and now in Perati, it just doesn't seem to stop ever. Every day it rains, so definitely giving Seattle a run for its money. So they brought the meat out right here, and we actually got like a little grill connected to the, to the boat. So I can see he's got the charcoal going. It's getting all hot and moving it around. And yeah, so paddle board in the background, harbor with all the boats, just some blue water, and we're gonna be grilling up some meat. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> All right, and we just got some chorizo here. What is that? I guess it's like sausage, right? Chorizo. Like, yeah, summer sausage, maybe. Mm. All right, bread's always a good option, so maybe I can take like a, a piece here. Hmm? And then, oh. <laughs> You wanna give me some? Put mm -hmm. one on there. There we go. It's like a. Okay. It's almost like a glorified hot dog here. Delicious. And in Argentina, we eat this a lot. For those of you who don't know, I lived in Argentina for like the past three years. But they also put like a sauce on it called chimichurri. And I would die for some of that right now. <laughs> well, I just got some more beef here. And again, I'm gonna have to put this on the. Oof. Look at this. That's my that's my finger right there. And it went inside of the bread. So it's like just butter oozing out of here with some type of cheese. And uh ooh. Mm. And we made it to our last stop. What's the name of it, Pelly? Island Bishiga. Island Bishiga. <laughs> Ila do Boshiga. I don't know. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> but yeah, a really nice stop so far. We're seeing, uh, heck, I'll just a show right now. First of all, there's these crazy sun rays right there. Really looks like angels coming down and touching the water. After that, we got this beautiful house right there on this island. So I'm not sure if this is like a private island or what, but. Uh, nice. I have no idea, but I think it's a private one because there's like just two houses, so I'm pretty sure it's a private yeah. island. It's a cool one to be anchored off of. What? Oh my gosh! What? Wow! 
Wow, we can see like all these fish right there. Right there where all the water is like boiling up, it's just schools of fish all hanging out together. This last spot that we're in is just like a photoshopped photo. We're getting more of these clouds in and definitely feels like a storm's brewing, but now we're just seeing schools of fish coming through and just off in this uh, background. I don't know, it's like way back there or something. Yeah, just like way back there. It's like crazy just lighting coming in and making this lime green color on the jungles that are in the mountains. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think Bruno saved the best for last over here. Look, there's like more, those lights coming down the sun rays over there, all the sun rays over there. This is that amazing backdrop of Brazil, isn't it? I love this place. And then just palm trees, it's so what? beautiful. Yeah, it's like yeah. everywhere beautiful. Well, it has come to an end. That was our excursion with Bruno and Erica. It, and it was, was amazing. It was great. It. Yeah, one thousand percent recommend this excursion. Yeah. The bay that we're at is beautiful. Paraty is beautiful. They well, are really nice. I have to say, they're super sweet. They show us everything. They taught us a lot of things. Yeah, they took amazing. They took us to all the best spots just to anchor up, or I guess anchor down, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hang out. And they had the paddleboard, everything. So if you like this video, then I recommend that you hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to be along on our next adventure, definitely hit that subscribe button. See you all next one.